Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. But we're going to tie another fly for you tonight. Another salmon fly. Um, Brad's been doing a wonderful job. Uh, he, his last fly was pretty complicated for Brad, I'd have to say. That's, Whew, you know, man, no, that's, that was a lot of work. I, I think you almost broke a sweat when you were, when you were tying that fly. Thanks for noticing, there, Scotty. Yeah, well, yeah I, I appreciate the amount of work that you put into it, Brad, because to see you tie something like that really inspires me. It inspires our viewers, my friend. <laughs> it inspires okay. everyone. But it didn't inspire me to tire something that long. So Yeah, that's right. We're doing something a little easier. A little a little technical. simpler, some really nice some really nice products. Uh some interesting products. Uh this this crinkle fur here, this stuff is just awesome. Um and polar bear. I mean you can't go wrong with polar bear. Polar bear swims amazing in the water and uh it, these days it's available in pretty much any color that you want. You can get it dyed purple green blue white red red <laughs> um so you can get it pretty much any color that you want which makes it a very versatile uh product again so this is the fly that i was using when i was down in uh in squamish or one of the flies that i was using uh i had a lot of success with direct hits so I, I, th this was the fly that i was getting the most mouth hits and and having the fly being or my rod being ripped out of my hands almost uh, from being hit so hard by chum salmon and I, w I wish I could say a coho I, I haven't been as lucky this year as you have Brad I have yet to catch a coho Man, to be honest with you I've been on fire dude it's I, I don't know what it is but every time I'm down on the river I just happen to walk into a hatchery coho yeah see god bless my soul I, I, I think I've had a couple on but yet to see the the bringing it in and taking the picture and and releasing it but I'm, I'm still hoping we're still not done it still could happen um i still got a few more fishing days down there before it gets cold i think you want to get to the fly let's get yeah let's go. We'll let's go, go let's get it done down. I want it to be almost the full length of the hook. Somewhere like right around there. Man, we had, don't, we, we had don't, quite the lineup today, man. We had Benny was in the house. I tied a couple flies. Yeah. I guess Scotty Holmes is in the house. Yeah. 
Oh, this is a good night. I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> okay, so what, once we got it on, then we got it we got it trimmed up there or uh, tied off. We're gonna just cut it off on an angle, and then we're gonna wrap this all the way up. just to keep the profile of our fly the same all the way along. And then we're gonna tie on our our rib, which is this red glitter thread. It's really, again, it's a pretty cool product and it's as thin as it is, it's fairly strong. And tends not to get moved around as much on the hook as wire does for me, as what I've been noticing. Where the you know how your wire gets moved and um, separated into different sort of patterns on your hook as the chum salmon are ripping it apart. And then we're gonna tie on our chartreuse uh, chenille, and as Brad is a fan of this stuff. I, you've, in all the flies I've tied, I love chenille. It's just... It's so simple, yet complex, you know? And it looks awesome. Yeah, and it looks awesome. I mean, it, it just makes flies... It's the 21st century touch, you know? Okay, so we got that. Now we're just going to tie up our body. Same as Brad, you just want to pull these back. Tuck that in there so it stays out of your way. And I'm not as worried about keeping or trapping fibers. I'm after basically covering the hook, get some movement from the fibers. And as always with the Chenille, you get the UV quality. It's like a big punch to the mouth. <laughs> it's like, like a your... big punch to the mouth. Yeah. It's like the best day of your life. And put it in your mouth. Okay, so we got that. And we're going to tie our rib up. You know, you can you can you can be really fussy and try to wiggle it through so that you're not trapping down those fibers. Oops. There we go. So we're going through. Oh, my body is not 100% uniform. It shouldn't be, though, Scotty. We're trying to fly. Just and like Benny said in the tie earlier, <laughs> it's not a praying mantis. The only perfect bug or insect in the world is the praying mantis. Why did he say that? <laughs> You'll have to watch the show. Yeah, I, I did. I, <laughs> it's going I, I kind of missed it, though. We, like were we were talking about making perfect flies. Oh, okay. And then yeah. he made a joke about the only perfect fly is a praying mantis. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's but you a, know about the, the praying mantis, it's also got a very dark side. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. It, it might be perfect, but it's got a very dark side. So we're going to cut our... Uh, trim our polar bear off here. And again, I don't throw, like with polar bear, I don't throw anything away. You know what I do with it? I take it and I put it into a coffee grinder and I make dubbing out of it. And it makes really good dubbing. Mix it in with a few feathers. And... Okay, so. Want this just to be slightly longer than the tail. Oh, 
least it wasn't me only At tonight. least it wasn't, well, my first show of the new season, right? What would it be without... Breaking your thread once. Without breaking your thread once, yeah. Okay. So... What we're going to do is take that off. Do a little damage control. Just do a little damage control, yeah. That's the, again, the, the thing of tying live. There really wasn't anything there that I've, I've tied it all off, roughly speaking. So there really wasn't anything there to come loose except for the polar bear. There we go. Okay, so we'll go back to putting on our polar bear again. And I won't be as fussy about these ends. So I'll just, we'll get it on there. Sorry. Moving the fly on everybody, but. Hey, we gotta make sure it looks good. So twice. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. At yeah, that it's one. not funny. That was good. It's that not funny, good. and I did it on this exact same thing. I think it's okay. You can. I think I've got a nick in my. Yeah, you know what? I uh, clearly sabotaged your bobbin prior to you doing your show, and yeah, it and that's, must that's be. just the comedy end of uh, the Friday Night Flies. Well, this was supposed to be a fast tie, but when you are continuously breaking your thread it's uh it definitely lengthens thing out a bit you know yeah okay so but it does show you you know breaking your threads not the end of the world it's embarrassing yes <laughs> i was gonna say it's not strike two <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not like hey mom watch the video of me breaking my thread three times you'll be proud <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he breaks his thread with the best of them. <laughs> okay, so we got our crinkle fur. You don't need a lot of this. I mean, I could probably take half of that off there and just use half, but I love this stuff. It swims so nicely. It's crazy. You have to try it. And again, as in most of the new products these days, it comes in a variety of colors. Hey, we got boulders on the line on chat. He's oh, is saying, he? Yeah, he's Is saying, he making fun of me? No, he's saying, hi, boys, all the way from Barbados. From Barbados. Lucky him, you man. lucky bugger. Yeah. I have a pina colada. He's like... He's like, that's boulders tie, the perfection. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, and then finish it off again. The nice thing about these flies, when you're using the polar chenilles and and, um, and the polar bears, I mean, it's really, it's a simple tie. You can, all you got to do is, as Brad was saying, change your colors, you know? Mix it up. Yeah. Use a little bit of black. Use a little bit of blue. Um... You know, it depends on what your fish want, really. And I mean, with every river and every body of water, it changes a bit, you know? Yeah, but as I was saying to you earlier, I mean, I really... I was feeling a lot better fishing when I had a chartreuse hook on. It, it was either chartreuse yeah. or purple and black for me. Yeah. Were my two... Good combinations. Okay, so... There we go. Basically done. You can trim it up a little bit if you want. The nice thing about this crinkle fur and even the polar bear is that if you decided it was, you were, it was too long and you're getting a lot of false hits, you know, you can just cut it back. The crinkle fur doesn't matter. The polar bear, none of that really matters. It's still gonna. Let's give that a slow mo roll. Oh, slow mo. Slow mo. <laughs> Man, you gotta grease that vice. Man, that thing looks sexy. 
Yeah, you know, the, the the polar bear oh, tends to be a little bit long. We lost a little bit of it there, but that was good. There we go. See. Turn off that crinkle Give it a little hair, hair, hair to you. New hair to you, yeah. All right, buddy. We'll there take you it go. up top so, here. So we're up top, yeah. We're on top. Okay, well, Friday flies. Um, that's my first tie of the fall season. Um, definitely. Looking forward to being back. It's been uh, we we had a long fishy summer. That's for sure. Been awesome. Yeah, it was it was great. I, I had a really really good summer. We caught a lot of fish this year, man. A our, lot of fish. Our clients caught a lot of fish. That's good. Happy clients. Happy clients. Happy days. Happy days. Anyhow, man, we're gonna okay. do the old sign of Rooney Okay. Well, that's four shows for you guys tonight. Boulder's back next week. He's back from his vacation. Um. So we're gonna we'll have a new show for you next week, Friday night. 5 p.m. Come and see us. Until next time. Bye.